Lupo, and Chase. Tune in. We're gonna start this thing off with one with a um one of his new You know, I be trying to make music that's going to, uh, we got enough party music. We got enough uh, ass shaking music. We got enough glorification of the streets from people who ain't really in the streets or been in the streets. So I just try to uh, be the balance, make music that's going to uplift or make you think Something that'll make somebody change their ways, cause I had to change mine. So I just try to get my my life, my mess is your message. He been going to fucking trap. Ow. I was ashamed I had a problem, nigga. I grew up looking for guidance, robbing and snow powder. No, I came from the bottom, nigga. No, my mama went around and daddy would knock me down. Got betrayed by a lot of niggas. Never fall, but I might lean. No, it's dark, but I can see. Turn my pain into profit, nigga. Thought the money poked the hill, been hurt since I was little. You know, Big Keith had got killed, nigga. No, Dominique had got killed, nigga. No, I was in that prison for years, nigga. See, you been in it, you don't know how it feels, nigga. You know, I went jam still with him. Traumatized, got unstable mind, can't deal with it. Justified, he took my sister's life and he still living. What was God? I took the devil side, can't forgive me. Boy, I fell in love with that woman, she had my kid. Uh, pregnant by Humphrey, but fucking no other me. I never knew making some money would come to this. Cause I never could make enough money to pay the rent. I was ashamed I had a problem, nigga. I grew up looking for guidance, robbing and snow powder. No, I came from the bottom, nigga. Uh, no, my mama went around and daddy would knock me down. Got betrayed by a lot of niggas. Never fall, but I might lean. No, it's dark, but I can see. Turn my pain into profit, nigga. Thought the money poked the hill, been hurt since I was little. I stay busy to battle mental depression. Cause when I'm empty, I lose the battle regretting. Decisions I had to make before I was naturally ready. Bills come every day and I'm tired of passing spaghetti. I knew everybody in the hood, but I never knew. Niggas will kill you for speaking truth. Take your life cause this bitch was speaking to you. Protect your shine when the sunlight ain't beaming through. Cause it's on his mind, ain't no telling what he'll do. I was ashamed I had a problem, nigga. I grew up looking for guidance, robbing and snow powder. No, I came from the bottom, nigga. No, my mama went around and daddy would knock me down. Got betrayed by a lot of niggas. Never fall, but I might lean. No, it's dark, but I can see. Turn my pain in the profit, nigga. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your girl KB live on WSSM Pressure 23 Radio. Thanks for tuning in to another exclusive interview we have in the building. Today, an incredibly talented young man representing the North, Big North, North, side of Birmingham, Alabama, professionally known as Humphrey Logo, Lolo. What's up with you, Humphrey? What's up, man? I'm just glad to be here. Good that's, energy. That's what's up. How you doing? I'm doing good. I feel good. I'm doing good. Life is good. I can't complain. That's what's up. I want to cr- uh, congratulate you on multiple hits. You've been dropping consistently. I appreciate it. I definitely want to put that in there consistently. Hits. It's hard to go back to back with them things. Hard to go back to back with them things. At the beginning of the show, we started off with a very powerful video. You know, usually when we go to the interviews, we don't just hop directly into it because we got a little thing, you know, we have to go through. But why that's fresh on everybody's mind that video, lines in, it was a strong message at the beginning of that video. And those that are out there watching, 
they they were able to read the caption on that message. Those that were listening, tune into these live streams. Check, check that message out. But can you share with everybody a little bit about the origin of that message? Um, well, the origin, it was prompted because the uh, videographer, shout out to Doobie B, he had asked me a question. And it was just basically relating to like, why do I do what I do? What's the purpose behind my music? And uh, I just gave the response that I typically give the purpose I live on an everyday basis, which is just like, I want to be the light. We have a lot of, uh, we're surrounded by a lot of darkness, a lot of negative music, a lot of negative things that go on around us, especially in the environments where we come from. Right. So my whole purpose is to just like be a light in a dark room, exemplify some type of positivity and encourage people, motivate them to let them know that, you know, if I was able to turn, turn my life around coming from where I came from and the place I came from, then you can do it too. And it's not many people out here that's promoting that message. You know, the music that we normally get, the things, the advertisements, the TV commercials, the movies, the videos, they all are promoting like a negative way of life and something that a, <laughs> a negative way of life and something that'll keep us stagnant in our place where we at. So I just want to be the opposite of that. I want to motivate someone to do different, change their life, see things in a different perspective. After that response, do you do any community activism? Yeah, we actually do. Uh, me and Chase, my business partner slash manager, we we go to certain uh, juvenile centers and speak. We've been uh, serving the homeless, feeding the homeless, providing things for the homeless. We've been to uh, a couple schools. And yeah, so we, we get out here and we do active things. We're definitely active in and if nothing else, just be uh, an example on an everyday basis. Exactly. Just live your life in a way where people can see and want what you have. Okay. You know, that. Um, I know we got to get into this thing about with the music and the message and the things that we're talking about right now. Not to, you know, try to make this overshadow, you know, what you have going on as far as with music. But the things that you're doing as far as in your community and, you know, with the city that we're from, it, I, say, I say we be easy. But, you know, a lot of people are really afraid to come to Birmingham because the population versus the crime rate, we in the top 10. Mm -hmm. And the right. things that you're doing by, you know, your background, and it's not like you are not a known person in the community and in the city. Right. You're a known person in the city. So that example where you lived it, you changed your life and you're showing the younger generation that, hey, I'm still living like I'm like that. I'm like that, but I ain't got to be like that. Mm -hmm. You know, with time, growth, you can change and still be the person that you are. Right. And I want to applaud you for that. Thank you. I respect the work that you're doing in the community and it be need to be more rappers, more artists, more activists that are doing exactly what you're doing now. Not just dropping music, you know, talking about the street life activity and those things, you know, dropping real jewels, real nuggets, real knowledge to try to actually change the path of some of the youngsters. So I definitely applaud you for that. I, I didn't expect the answer that I got from you. So that kind of is how we end up here. For those who just tuned in to Pressure 23 Radio, we have Hunt Prelo in the building and we have Chase in the building. Pressure 23 Radio is a true global radio station broadcasting 23 hours a day worldwide. You are one of the many independent artists on our platform with current hits in rotation and one of the most requested on our platform, those hits. Those tuned in today on the Pressure 23 app, on iHeartRadio, and other audio tunnels, as well as those who watching us on various live streams, including YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, are here to get a little bit, get to know a little bit about you 
Hunt for Lola, the artist, the activist, the man. So tell everybody that's listening that don't know you, where you from? Uh, Birmingham, Alabama, obviously. Leeham, the north side of Birmingham. I'm from uh, Drury Hill. So if you're familiar with Birmingham, you know what that consists of. You know where I'm coming from. You know what it's like. Right, okay. So how did you first get into music? Uh, that's an uh, interesting topic. Glad that you asked, too, because... Well, when I was young, I've always loved music. I'm pretty sure all of us do coming from our culture. We, you know, we use music to express ourselves. So uh, growing up, my dad used to always play music. If we was going to get our hair cut, if we was on the way to go to school, if we just around the house and he barbecuing, he would always play music. Music was just a lot, had a lot to do with my upbringing. My grandma would barbecue and play music, old school jams. But the music that they would play was never, uh, low vibrational music. It was always like Tupac. He always had a message. Nas, uh, Jada Kiss, just people of that nature. So that's why the I have that positive undertone in my music. And then, you know, just being in the church. But even in the church growing up, you know, grandma make you go to church. Even when we come out of church, you might still be in the hood around everybody else, doing what everybody else do. But she gonna always have that aspect about her as far as church. So I was even involved in it during those stages, you know, playing the trumpet, playing the piano, playing the drum. And so it's just always been a part of my upbringing. But when I uh, kind of diverted from the path and ended up going to prison, that's when I started making my story personal and writing it down and making music out of what I had been through and really didn't have nothing else to say, but the pain, the torment that I was going through, the trauma. So I just wanted a way to get it out. And I started making music then in prison. And I started uh, rapping it to my to other inmates, my cellmates or whatnot. And that's when I really knew that maybe I could do something with it because of their reaction. Okay. So my next question kind of follows up. You kind of led into it, but you didn't directly give the point in those that are in your family that inspired you. We definitely want them to know. And we want to know who inspired you to make that music. I know you covered the music that your dad played and your grandmother's upbringing is supposed to keep you in the church, but the direct inspiration for the music that you create today, who inspires that music? Tupac. Tupac. <laughs> Elaborate on that for me a little bit. I mean, uh, like I say, I've always been a fan. I remember when Tupac died. I was young. I wasn't old enough to know where music was, but I remember crying in that moment. Like, Man, my family was crying. My household was crying. I knew that we had lost something powerful. So just in my upbringing, I started uh, listening to him. And the music is always good. He has a message in his music, right? But when you get to know the man behind the music, it was different. And it hit different. And the more I got in tune with him watching his interviews, the more I just listened to the things. that he And to understand that he was the tender age of 24 years old. Right. And it just him saying the things he's saying and me living in it, the thing I'm living, the things he talk about, how the police pull us over, harass us, how, you know, young girls having babies or Brenda's got a baby, things of that nature. So it was just like, yeah, I want to I want to do what he doing. Right. OK, that's what's up. In what way are you different from the current mainstream artist? <laughs> that's a good question. That's a, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I'm different in a lot of ways. I mean, the number one thing is I'm real. And I ain't mean, I'm not mean in a, a cliche term like real nigga. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like I'm an open book. I'm a real human. So I understand that making music, it's not all about the dollar. It's not all about how we dressing. You know what I mean? What we eating, what we driving. It's about being real and connecting with real people. Yeah. So in that aspect, I'm real. And when you come to Humphrey and you click on Humphrey music or you look at an interview with Humphrey with Keisha or if you catch me out in traffic with Chase, it's always the same energy. Yeah. It's not going to ever switch. It's not going to ever be anything other than uplifting. You know, I'm God motivated. You know what I'm saying? So and uh, even when I'm at my lowest, we all have our low points. And yeah, I'm not saying like I'm just uh holier than thou. I'm saying it's going to be a real experience. Right. 
Right. I'm a real experience. Exactly. And so that's what makes me different. Also, so that's one thing I can say. I guess we can sum that up by just saying my topic. Yeah. My content is going to be different. Yeah. But the number two thing is another thing I'm real. Like what I talk about, I really went through. Right. I'm not in a studio and I'm not shooting shots at nobody, but I'm pretty sure your favorite artist is just paying the movie. Right. He's not giving a biography. Right. When you listen to Humphrey, you get a biography. Right. And this is something I actually went through. Right. It's something I'm actually living in. You know, so that separates me from a lot of other artists. Right. And then the effort I put into it. This is not, a, I've heard a lot of artists say, oh yeah, it took me 15 minutes to write that. This is not that with me. With me, I'm I'm critiquing every symbol, syllable. I'm critiquing every syllable. And other ones. Yeah, and all the other ones, <laughs> similes and everything else, right? But right. yeah. It's just the effort I put into it, you know, and being make, having a different subject matter, being a real person, right. and the effort I put into everything I do, right. the so, detail. But your music, you you want to be a buzz. Yeah. You be a buzz with your audience. Yeah. And that leads me into this next video that I want to play. That must be buzz. That's yeah. buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Check out Buzz by Hunt for Love. I put my all in the niggas. Yeah. Know it's love if I call you my nigga. Know I love you, my nigga. You know I got flaws if you hold me against me, can't fault you, my nigga. Payday tomorrow, come get that dollar I borrowed, my nigga. I hate to argue, be the first to tell you I'm sorry, my nigga. These days you apologize, they go harder, my nigga. They take your father, keep you a rocket, they slaughtering niggas. Try to be humble, they bring the monster up out of a nigga. No matter what you accomplish, they won't say they proud of a nigga. Uh -uh. Guess that's just how it is, no one taught us how to live. Did a thousand bids, left her with the house and kids until he got out again. She put her all in the niggas, just to get fought by the niggas. She seen me hit her mama, I pray that my daughter forgive me. Teach her to be responsible and don't put her heart in the niggas. Just be a father figure, it's all she needs, but father forgive me. They made a trap for the young and black, I got caught up in it. Dominique act like I want his brother, I'ma fall the niggas. That shit hurt me and I'ma felt like he crossed the niggas. My reputation, no blemish, no image, nigga, this character Talking, going back to prison, you won't meet nobody scary uh -uh. Still, I'm never snitching, knew the consequence and the variance If my brother meet opposition, I stand with him till they bury him He know I'd be there with him, execute us in the chair or something Never tried to imitate others, that's embarrassing I knew out the shit since I learned how to use the bathroom You lose common sense trying to put a dent in my character Fall like a ton of bricks looking up to dishonorable men Let opportunists miss trying to listen to some of them Lies can't comprehend on the truth when it come to this Lolo, LOL, but ain't shit funny now Loyalty over love, friendships in when that money out Hot cold when it's sunny out Broncos ain't even stun me now Couldn't afford to focus, boy, focus with your buddy now My cup be so dirty, but these words are clean a muddy house How many sermons I done preached at Uncle Plenty out Dodging potholes, swerving through the street, I took the bumpy route I know nothing word to come for free, I got my money Careful what you say, the words you speak manifest stopping ground We pick up behavior, how we think from people we hung around Careful with the places that you be and who you stun around Niggas watch your place, see what you eat and make your stomach growl Put a beat on repeat, that's how I function now Can't even talk to these niggas, they burn my conscience I put my heart in the niggas Know it's love if I call you my nigga But I want a little clarity on this. <laughs> Talk to him, Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't want to say it verbatim because I want you to see it. You will put you what happened trying to put a dent in your character. Oh, you will lose common sense trying to put a dent in my character. Elaborate on that. It's basically just speaking to the uh, concept of uh, you ain't going to be able to find no flaw that we ain't all got. Trying to put a dent in my character, trying to like talk talk bad about me, backbite, or anything negative. Trying to trying to do that, you'll lose your common sense because studying me, trying to figure it out, you ain't gonna find it because I try to live my life to certain morals and certain principles. And again, not to say that I'm perfect, but I'm saying I try my best. And even when I fall and slip up and make stumbles, I'm gonna be the first to admit that. Right. So. Looking for something that's not already out, you're going to go crazy because it ain't there. It's already been exposed. That's, that was a, a very strong, the song within itself was a very strong song. It was very positive. A lot of people that are going, th going through things in their life as far as relationships with people and, you know, because men have a different, you know, type way that they handle their, their emotions. Right, right. You know, they'll walk around for months, years. Holding something. Holding something. Yeah. yeah. They just, they do that. And it's songs like that that people listen to. And it's like a weight lifted off. Just that one saying, you'll lose common sense trying to put a dent in my character. That's strong. That's a message within itself. Because that'll make a person think like, I'm tripping. Mm -hmm. I know me. I'm I'm the real authentic me every day. Every day, all day. And letting somebody that I deem as personal, close to me, violate me in a manner by talking bad or mm -hmm. saying whatever to try to tarnish my reputation or you know, tear me down as a man. Right. And see, it's important because, you know, we got to be cautious not to let, it ain't so much about them, right? That right. line, right? It's a, it's me talking to myself at the same time because right. it's like you will hear the chatter and it'll have you questioning who you right. really are. Right. If you, oh, Humphrey did this or Humphrey used to be this or Anything Keisha did that, or I, I remember she thinks she's doing something. I remember when she was right. still doing it's like you can hear that and it'll affect who you are and your spirit, man. Right. So it's like you have to remind yourself that no matter what I've done, no matter what I've been through or where I come from, you know, I'm still me, I'm still real. And that person talking, they really just talking to hide the insecurity they not exposing, right? So, you know, just always being on point and knowing who you are. And not letting anything affect you or bring you down or distract you from where you're going. Because that's what's important. We all trying to grow. Hopefully, that's the whole purpose of like why I do what I'm doing. I want to grow, but I want to also influence somebody else to grow. Right. So I don't want to uh, get stagnant by what people are saying. Right. I don't want to get broken down on my own self. Even right. when the world got guns at, aimed at me, I want to be able to stand tall. Right. The bond that you have with, with yourself. With yourself. You know what right. I mean? The that's most that important. Exactly. That's right. most important. And right. not the bond with people who you know is not good for you. Right. Once you see a person's true colors, believe it the first time. Right. For those of you who on the air listening, that then, you know, check it, weren't able to look at the visuals that go along with this song. This young man's songs have great visuals. The visuals themselves display a message. It tells the story. All of his videos, and we're going to repeat this at the end. He, All of his music videos can be found on YouTube. And his name is on YouTube the exact same thing that his name <laughs> is. It's Humphrey Lolo. It's not some of the, I'm not going to even say it, but you know, it's not, you know, like a lot of artists, they don't. You know, brand they name. Right. Yeah. So when I was doing research on you, because I, I came actually came across your um one of your music vi videos on my timeline. Okay. So when I saw it, I was like, okay, he from the north side. Let me see. So I checked it out and then I was like, okay, let me hit him up so I can get this this music. Mm -hmm. So when I, I got the music and then I was like, okay, it's it's a message, it's a different mess. I want to talk to him. Okay. So then you know we me and, your, me and Chase exchanged a few 
you know, emails. Right. And then I said, okay, we talked on the phone. He came with some very helpful information. Mm -hmm. You actually have somebody that's on your team that yeah. it has your best interest. Right, right. I'm not gonna right. a minute. Right. <laughs> He, yeah. he came here with a goal. Right. He didn't come here just to have a flyer out. He came here with a goal. He's using the platform to reach multiple people and let labels, other artists, other people worldwide learn and more about you and right. know who you are because they're missing out. Yeah. This, you, the music you make is excellent music. I appreciate it. That's I was able to go back to back. I appreciate that. That's yeah. all I say is we just need people to hear them. Right. And that's all my main mission is to get it out there. And see, one of the things, the reason why this platform is generated is for was for independent artists to be mm -hmm. able to have that reach that they deserve. Right. A lot of independent artists, like Humphrey, has music that's a thousand times better than that they're spending on these radio you know, stations. radio stations. Right. This is real music. What a real message. Value. Music mm. with value. And, you know, we're not only on iHeartRadio. We say that often because we have a, a contract that we have to, every time we said WSSM Press 23 Radio, we have to say on iHeartRadio. Right. So that's important because that gives us the reach. We have that PSR for music that we pay for that license so we can be truly global. We're not censored anywhere. So if Russia wants to listen to this interview, they can. They can, right. So we we know all of us have other independent artists. Everybody has been around the music industry for a while. Right. And everybody, aren't, they ain't lucky enough to have a TikTok dance. And your music, not saying somebody may not make a TikTok video, because I can see it. I can see it happening. But... The chances of somebody making a TikTok to Buzz, which is a very powerful song, mm -hmm. is not really that high. Right. And that's a message that needs to be heard. The Lions Den is a message that needs to be heard. And I said that to say, Cage Bird music that was dropped in 2013, it needs to be heard. Light Switch <laughs> that was dropped in 2016. It needs, it needs to be, to be heard. heard. Yeah. Re uh, resurrected, that dropped in 2018, needs to be heard. Statue of Liberty, 2020. Loyalty Over Love, 2021. Trauma Bonds, 2022. And your upcoming. Don't forget to pray, 2023. Uh, 20, they all need 24. We had 24. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't confuse the people. Yeah. I'm confused myself. Yeah, right. <laughs> those, those, they, they need to be heard. That's a message because I'm almost positive. The caged bird mute, I didn't know it existed. Right, right. When I got this, I'm like, hey. And see, I, they'll be able to see the growth too. Like, caged bird, that was raw, uncut, like, me trying to, I didn't really have to, I wasn't developed. So you can hear like me run, running out of breath. You can, it's it's so raw. It even like make me cringe going back to listen to it. Like, dang, I really created that. That was me. You know what I mean, and just to see the development up until this point right here and how the message has slowly become more focus point. You know what I mean? Because like Cage Bird is powerful, but it was kind of open and broad. And the more I get closer to who I am to this moment is is more precise, more direct. On my more ride, structured. On my ride down here, I was listening to Cage Bird and I, I messaged him pressure. So you're gonna check it out, go listen to pressure. <laughs> uh, it is yeah. a song called Pressure. Yeah. That's what we're gonna have to check that out. I mean, do we have permission to to put that on one of our drops? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um it's a bit. No, nah, it's not a video. No, it's not That's a video. Very first tape right there. Because I would, no video. I would have seen that one if it was a video to that one. Yeah, it's um, <laughs> this this music is this is something that I ask artists, okay. and and some artists, you know, they not interested in some art. These interviews, they're out there, A and R's, record labels, everybody come across these interviews, right? And they when they see good music, they listen. 
So I always ask artists, you're independent. Right. Are you interested in being signed to a label? Definitely not. Definitely not. I mean, I would uh, create a partnership. Right. I'll be willing to partnership, distribution. distribution, something of that nature. But as far as like directly signing, like you see, I dropped my first project in 2013. Yes. So it took me and bro a long time to just get the knowledge that we have at this point to get the hustle and the motivation where we have at this point. We made a lot of mistakes. And I say that to say, I can't just, at this point, I've developed myself and me and brother and developed ourselves so much to the point that I can't allow nobody else to control what I'm doing. Exactly. I have to be in control. I got so, it. So, and, and the way that you have um, the path your career has taken, you have um, a story. I say when I mean story is almost like a, a mini movie. Okay. Yeah. Like a mini movie. I can see that. Look at and, the name of the tapes. Yeah. yeah. It's like a, it's like a mini movie. For those who don't know, earlier, um, not too long ago in this interview, I was naming the um his his previous projects. And if you go and research him, if you go to all platforms, he's Humphrey Lolo on all platforms. And look at the name of his projects. It's it's it actually is like a movie of his life, his his life, like a minute after a minute almost, mm -hmm. you know, about the growth mm -hmm. from when the where you started from, where the birth, right, the of birth, your music, yeah. and and you know within this interview you actually covered that the birth, right. So if you take the interview and you listen to the music, it's like a loyal a loyal fan moving forward from that point. The ability to create and grow is rare. Right. And you possess the ability to create and grow because you have grown. So I understand why you would prefer to be independent. And that leads to my next question. The Internet has changed the music industry. Man, drastically. So how do you feel about the impact that the end, the internet has on the music, and then once you clear that, tell me in what way has it impacted your journey in the music? Uh, I feel like the uh, internet has impacted the music in a way where it's forcing people to like create a person, a character versus being their true self. Uh, so, I mean... I don't want to just say like the internet is all negative, but but because it's it's definitely a platform that somebody can use and change their life, right? Their life and their family's life. Right. However, I do think that it has uh put a negative negative stigma stigma on our culture though because everybody is now like phone phone click 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 click. Let me I want it's a hundred percent of wanting to be entertained all day long. If you don't have to do adult responsibilities, then I want to be entertained. No one wants to be in the moment of life. No one wants to be present in that very moment. It's always uh, give me something to look at. Let me occupy my time. I'm I'm cooking dinner, but I got my TikTok going. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Oh, I want to teach my children homework. Let me see what they said about this on TikTok. Right. It's oh, what who got killed last week? You know what I mean? Or the police pulled this person over and it turned into a murder scene. It's the, so the internet it it helps the music, but it also hurts the music as well. And so, uh, but I mean, it's beneficial because at this point, you can upload one video and it reach the whole world. Right. So we have to be thankful for that part. But I just wish we would use it more. Uh, be more, yeah, more positive. Be more conscious of how we're using it. I mean, we can see murders on 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 the. We can see. People, you know what I'm saying? You can see. <laughs> like, so, I mean, it has its pros and cons, just like everything else. Uh, for me, specifically, um, I would say I'm I'm kind of like a, a introvert, but I'm not. It's kind of like you're an artist, so I don't mind being seen, but I also need that positive time and that privacy to build and build myself up. And I'm just like, I come from a world on the north side where we didn't expose everything. Right. I mean, even when I was in that lifestyle, like 
You know what I mean? It's like putting it out there. you you weren't we weren't putting that out there. We weren't talking about the murders we did or the dope we sold. It wasn't like that's why we ain't never became cool. Right. When was that popular right. to advertise, you know what I mean? To, to, to tell on yourself. To put your pack on yes. your head. Yeah, you 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 on here with five, six bowls. Just you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you on you got ten racks posted up right here on the it's like, bro, you advertise you. You got you telling the, the robbers, the jack boys, and the police, here I am, come right. get me. So right. for me, just living in that era where you know things were more private, it was kind of hard for me to adjust. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of hard for me to adjust. And that's why I'm so thankful for Chase. You know what I mean? He's a God gift because he's the one that's always like if it weren't for him, y'all wouldn't get as much as y'all get. Right here, right now. <laughs> email. Like, I, it'd be bro calling me at a at a five forty five. Like, hey, bro, don't forget at six o'clock. Post this. Don't forget, you have to stay active, bro. Like, people want right. to see you. People want to put the man with the you know what I mean yes. with the message with the music. So, I mean, and the more I do that, like, it, I mean, it got me to you. It right. got us to each other. So, right. it definitely works. So, I'm just thankful. That's how it's impacted me. Like, I'm learning to be able to utilize it for what it's worth and not get caught up in clicking on it and just scrolling. Right. Um, if, and if you could, if I could ask personally for you to not change one thing and that's the message that you put in your visuals, you know, a lot of videos, you watch them, they have nothing to do with the song. <laughs> nothing to do with the song. Kids watch YouTube all day. All day. Little kids, big kids. And once that algorithm picks it up, it's gonna it's gonna pop up. Mm -hmm. And the message can save someone's life. Yeah. You know, suicide is a big thing now. And the internet plays a huge part in bullying and sending out the wrong message. And you are an artist that is sending out a positive message. So if you get, and I know sometimes it may be a little hard, but as long as you put those visuals together with those great songs, it's going to save somebody. I appreciate that. It's going to save somebody because the message is there. Yeah. You know, a, a song can make a difference in a lot of people's life. Yeah. You know that. You grow up with yeah, it. Yeah, it made a difference in mine. So, right. so I definitely know that. Continue to do what you do. Bro, being humble too. But we really got a lot of testimonies where people actually didn't call and said that to them. Right. You know right. Somebody have actually you know, got some stories where they didn't call and been like, listen to this song and it may save my life, made me want to not do what we were just talking about. So. Right. And for those of you who are out there, we didn't talk about it much, but y'all know that you can always call in to the radio station. Um, that's area code 205-521-3569. It's the exact same number on the, the West app. We're like Humphrey. We we keep it direct and to the point. We're going to keep it, you know, the same to where you can get reached. So those of you who want to call in and, you know, let this man know how great he is, the flow is, the flow is there. Um, what can the people expect next from you? Uh, more message, my mess, your message, more music. But uh, got any shows coming up? Yeah, we actually got one tomorrow. Uh, catch me in Northside Weeds Alive. Uh, it's uh at the lovely event center, twenty one forty three Carson Road. If y'all listening and y'all want to pull up Birmingham, Alabama, Northside yeah. Weeds. Northside Weezy. We got what what time is show? But we actually got it's uh it's doors open up at nine. So we'll probably start the performances by eleven thirty. Okay. So y'all might want to get in there, get you a little get part of the drink. flow. Right. You know what I'm saying? Get you a drink, right. relax, and let me and bro uh take y'all on a journey. Okay. You have a, a new release. Hand me out long. It's doing numbers. They love it on stage. They love it on the station. You and Northside Weezy has visuals. Y'all check this out. Northside Weezy. Humphrey Lolo featuring Northside Weezy. I'm not going to say Northside Weezy first because this is Hunt for instance. Northside, niggas be unemployed. You should be proud we made it work. 
Some go to prison to find the Lord. Some gotta die to go to church. Huh? Smoking gas, coughing inside a farm. Instead of a coffin inside a hearse, dirt on our name, but we ignore it. Cause you know flowers come out of dirt. Uh, who knew the north side was making a star? Back when ATO and UTF was breaking apart. Before Drake was cool, we had K's in the closet. It wasn't no room, so we would lay our face on the carpet. We skipped school, dead to smoking bacon apartment. Breaking the rules, turning to us facing the charge. Uh, some niggas don't get to take it this far, but we kept it going like we ain't had no brakes on the car. Lay in the dark, kids don't wanna play at the park. We piss on the slide, your mama better not say nothing. Smart. Look in our eyes, you can see the hate in our heart Give us a ride, we probably end up taking the car uh, Riding the bus, came in the place of a car Candy lady, cause we ain't had no way to the store Brand new faces, hope you niggas able to spark Cause we like to fight and can't nobody save you from war Trying to flip packs, our uncles would steal that We so fake rocks until we got real crack Beefing with the ops, they find where you live at But now they're in the chop, your wig get peeled back uh, Our first baby mama was an experiment Before we ever thought about children Say our first baby daddy wasn't a real one She just wanted someone to deal with We just want someone to live with Rent too high, somebody to spit the bill with Shoes tied, cops running the field quick Lawyer to the guy, somebody that you can kill with We lost frat brothers to glizzes Get that name tatted while we in prison You know a felon can't come and visit So we gotta see you after the sentence Northside, niggas be unemployed You should be proud we made it work some go to prison to find the Lord. Some gotta die to go to church. Huh? Smoking gas, coughing inside a farm. Instead of a coughing inside a hearse. Dirt on our name, but we ignore it. Cause you know flowers come out of dirt. It was. Remember sending that bottom, dreaming the living large. Stack it 10 by 10, remember chicken jars. I made some ends with yen, we out here stealing cars. I lost some friends to sins, and please forgive them, Lord. If you ain't ride, then don't jump in the lake. Niggas learn how to fight when we got jumped in the frack. Way before with Draco, we had that pump in the back. Double barrel book shots, ain't no running from that. Do it all, we survive. My business as a rival, yeah. stash spot in a whip like my guys. Real now silent, nope. nigga can't now shine us. Nope. Pressure bust tight, yeah. so bitch, you make diamonds. Yeah. Running from the laws, what the pathway for? Yeah. Nigga cop the whole zip, what the hairway for? Yeah. Gotta grind, run it up, it ain't no fairway, bro. Come to the north, you see me, bitch, I'm the cowboy star, yeah. yeah. Northside, niggas be unemployed. Niggas be unemployed. You should be proud we made it work. work. Some go to prison to find the Lord. Some gotta die to go to church, huh? Smoking gas, coughing inside a farm. Instead of a coffin inside a hearse. Dirt on our name, but we ignore it. Cause you know flowers come out of dirt. Uh. He's here because he's talented. That hook. Recite the hook for us one time. Uh, Northside, niggas be unemployed. So you should be proud we made it work. Some go to prison to find the Lord. Some got to die to go to church. Smoke, smoking gas, coughing inside a farm instead of a coughing inside a hearse. It was dirt on our name, but we ignored it because you know flowers come out of dirt. Very positive message. That's a message right there that, that can change somebody's whole day. It'll change your whole day. Mm -hmm. Every day, four or five people getting killed in this city. All cities. Right. It ain't just here. It everywhere. That that can like bring somebody day. That can make a difference. Like, I mean, I have I have a situation that I'm actually going through today, you know, as far as like a loss. Mm -hmm. So in listening to like Bonds and in um the song outside, it's a it's an inspiration. So I know if it does something for me, it's doing stuff for a lot of other people. So under no circumstances, you know, a lot of people be like, hey man, you got the skills and and you can just take off if you make this kind of music. Cause the what the music that they're putting out now is uh, it's encouraging and motivating artists to change their style mm -hmm. in order to blow to try to come back to their original style and you stay true and stay true to yourself like you say it's the bond you got with got with yourself that's important 
And that's why your music is always positive. So those of you that's in the city, y'all go check out Hunt for Live tomorrow. Tell them where you're going to be at. Uh, pull up tomorrow, 2143 Carson Road. It's going to be uh, me going live. Northside, we is going live. A lot of entertainment. And uh, yeah, come meet the man behind the music. Okay. Where can people learn more about this music that we keep talking about? What platforms is it available on? Uh, all platforms. So whether you're listening on uh, Apple Music, Tidal, YouTube, you can you ain't, you ain't just got to be a video. You got you can type in uh, Humphrey and find the music, just the singles if you want to ride. So, I mean, wherever you're listening to music, however you get your music, I'm there. Just type my name in. And it's exactly what it is, Humphrey Lolo. When I pulled up, man, I pulled up so much music. It is not that difficult to find. I loved it. It just, it was so easy. It was so easy to pick them nuggets up that he dropped in each one of them songs. Uh, we're saying that, hold on, before I get into this last question, give everybody your social medias. I know you're not big on social media, but you have them and people, you know, they learn more about when you drop different stuff, so right. you know, let's give them your social. I'm on uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, all the platforms that I just said. You can find me at Humphrey Lolo, spelled the correct correct way: H U M P H R Y L O L O. On okay. whatever you use, and you can just type in my name, and I'm gonna pull up. Don't don't add that e and then don't go. <laughs> yeah, please don't add. The e. <laughs> I was about to throw that in there. <laughs> Don't add the E. It's just H U M P H R Y. Low, low. Okay. Last thoughts. If you if you could give one golden nugget, one piece of advice to everyone out there listening, what would it be? Uh, number one, believe in yourself. Uh, but that's so cliche. What I mean is like, it. We all we all have that innate person who we want to be, who we see ourselves being. No matter if it's uh, working a job and moving up in the ladder, trying to be corporate, you know, if you want to be an artist, if you want to be a beautician, we all fall to sleep with that person on our mind at night. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I could give anybody anything, I would just say be that person. Don't wait to get it right. Don't tell yourself, oh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Don't put it off. Do it now. Get get on it. Grind for it. You know, don't let nobody tell you what you can't be in a very, very important part of that is it's never too late. Right. It can happen overnight. You know what I mean? It's just all about when the stars align, your mind is right, and it's that season. You know, a seed ain't going to grow if you don't put it in the ground. Right. You got to put it in, then put the work on the sunshine, the water, the love into it, nurture it, and it'll be what you want it to be eventually. So believe in, to your, believe in yourself, put your best foot forward, and, and get out of the bed and make it happen. It's not going to come to you. Chase, why are you over there chilling? You thought you was going to get away? <laughs> yeah, that quick thought he was off, off the hook. You, you thought you was going to get away? Uh, look, I did think it was the end, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was the end. <laughs> but, you know, it's a couple. It's, um, during the conversation, he talked about, he said, bruh, which means there's a bond there. Definitely. And I like he that. talked about <clears throat> 2013. You've been there a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. From 2013 to now, if you can give a a brief, not a long description, yeah, right. but a brief description on the growth from the man he was in 2013 to the man that sit in that chair, because that's what people watch these interviews. Yeah, to, to, to tell you the whole thing, we don't even got enough time. Yeah, we ain't got it enough time. But a lot yeah. in between that. He right. said a lot of stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, people going to say, you know, ain't nobody going to never say nothing bad about his, themselves. But he described his life. He said some things that happened in his life that was not so positive. And he talked about some things that was positive. But he also highlighted the fact that you were there for a long time. Yeah. So from the artist he was then to the artist he is now. Growth. Growth. When he first came in, it was funny though, because uh, I got introduced to him by his last manager. 
That was my first <laughs> scene. And when I heard it for the first time, though, because they brought him in and let him listen to I had, they used to throw parties and stuff. So they brought him in, wanted him to uh, wanted us to hear him. From there, I heard a message. Mm-hmm. And wait, why fast forward about another month, I ended up walking up to him, was like, I believe in the message, man. So even though I, I got all this going on, I want people to hear this. And from there, we locked in and 2013 and 2024, you know what I'm saying? There've been a, a lot of ups and downs, but you didn't heard it in this music, though. It's, right. it's, that's what make the story. Right. So because I believe in it, I know everybody need to hear it. And we all come from areas where everybody need to hear the message, though, for right. that growth. So that's why we linked in, because, again, we both got the same passion to grow. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it, it, like I said, it's been growth, though, man. It definitely came from... Ludra is to where you at now. <laughs> so, you know right. so uh, I saw that during the conversation, your relationship about the growth, and you said it for me. I didn't have to say it. You believed in the message. It shows you believe in the message. And that's the number one reason why the duo would yeah. definitely be. Yeah, it's important. Mainstream. Yeah. It's, 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 it's that. It's like that. It yeah. ain't. Just he ain't out here by himself. You ain't here saying, okay, dude got talent, because that's what people do. Dude got talent. It's a check coming on him. When you believe in something, your effort is going to be equally as hard as his effort, and, the, and it's going to always match. And it's there. I mean, it's there. It's been there. And I mean, bro, bro really being humble, really, because it's like when he first walked, walked in and wanted to manage me or be involved with my music, you know, he probably did have that thought like, okay, let me just manage this guy. But when he entered, that's what people don't understand when you become a manager or anything, you are coming into that person's life. Yeah. So coming into my life, bro, start seeing like, you know, I'm fresh out of prison. It looked good. The music is good. It got that struggle in it. But, you know, bro, I don't know how to live regular everyday life. Right. I've been incarcerated for four going on five years. You know right. what I mean? So. When I got out, bro had to show me how to do a lot of things, how to get my credit right, how to apply for apartment, how to like do a lot. Right. It was things that I wasn't doing. I was just music, music, music. And bro was like, nah, bro, we got to get you together, right. your real life together first. Right. You know what I mean? The music exactly. going to be there. Let's get your real life together. Like, let's do this. Let's do that. And so bro has been more than a manager. You know what I mean? He has been a manager of my life, right. of my growth. And I think I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for him and our relationship. Right. Yeah, I always had it in him. I just had to pull it out because when we met, it was actually in the library at, in college. So <laughs> right. he was right. in the library in college. So right. he knew something. You know. Right. That's what's up. You can um you can see the growth. You can hear the the growth. You can see the growth. Versus if you look back through some of the videos, versus if you can see the growth. The growth is there, and the um contributions. Yeah, to the growth. Yeah. You can see that sitting here today. So this is not just a person that he hot right now. This is a person that we look forward to dropping music years on down the line. That's why I said a legend in the making. Right. right. When I said you was looking like <laughs> <laughs> so it was a reason behind it. So I definitely appreciate you coming in. I appreciate I, we, you. I want you to consent continue. To send us new music, drop, you know, drops, whatever you have. If you got, um, we have different things that we do on the platforms, take over the world. And I think that would be something that's great for you. Okay. To take over where you come in for an hour and you talk about the music and you just play as much of the music as you can or you would like to play. And people, you know, we do visuals too. Mm-hmm. So you can do either or. And that, that'll be something that I think would be great for you because you'll be able to highlight things that people I'm sure have no had no idea. It's people probably in the hood that listen to your music that have no idea that actually the type music and the message behind the music that you put out. Mm-hmm. People gonna be like, okay, I know him, that's my guy, but they don't understand that this that guy, it's a difference. Right, it's a difference. It's a, it's a difference big, between my guy and that guy. Mm-hmm. The guy with the positive message. And there's people that are out there that do certain things like try to help the youth and stuff like that. This will give people, you know, the opportunity like, hey, maybe I can reach out to this guy. Will he come talk to the kids at the center? Right. Or 
you know, can we get him down to the detention center or, you know, a lot of stuff to try to encourage kids. So I'm definitely glad to know that, you know, that is something that you do. So when we do things like that, we definitely reach out. And, you know, we have a bunch of things we do, like I say, on this platform, you drop it music, um, at listening release parties. We do all those type things. You okay. know, you always welcome. You are a phenomenal artist Thank you. and a human being. So and we also we talked about we actually talked about the um, P23 in the hood. We talked about it in um, right now. And I'm glad that we didn't. Mm -hmm. We talked about it. Um, is where we come out and, you know, you kind of like do a story about where you're from. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm glad that we didn't do that first is because we got the whole story here. And then when we turn around and do it again, we got the visuals. So where yeah. Haiti is where I'm coming. So, we can, you know, I, I'm structured. Yeah. <laughs> I like to kind of like do a lot of love. Men. I, it's, it's, a, it's always a story. I always want to paint a clear picture. Right. So, Chase, my man Chase, my man Chase. Yeah. You knew what you was talking about, bro. So those of you who tuning in live on Pressure 23 Radio, also available on iHeartRadio. Those that are listening on um, the various audio tuners, included the UK. We have a strong UK following. We appreciate you guys over there. We have a, um, a huge following in Africa. I know you guys are up listening. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Humphrey Lolo on all platforms. Don't put that E in that Humphrey. Don't go in. Don't do it. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Please go follow my man, Humphrey Lolo. Check out his music on all platforms. I'm telling you, you guys are missing out. We will continue to put him in the daily rotation, he's uh, currently in a daily rotation with whatever he dropped. The music is po uh, positive. We got a lot of spinning on there. We these rappers, all they want to do is spin. <laughs> My man, I forgot a message. So, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, any last words? Yeah, I just stay on point. Thank you for having us. Your energy is uh beautiful. Thank you. You know, it was it's. We just met, but it seemed like we've been knowing each other, and then you was very prepared. So okay. I thank y'all. Shout out to Pressure 23, man. This is where you want to be. Right. Real talk. Thank y'all. Humphrey Lolo, live in the building.